Hi Taurus and Bobcats, it's Miss Medine here with today's Read Aloud. And I have a very special Read Aloud to do with you guys today because we're going to be reading a book that's going to become one of our old favorite storybooks. Now this storybook um, is one that we're going to be reading over and over and over again in class. And then I also want you guys to read this story with me by watching our videos over and over and over again. Um, in order for us to learn a story um, by heart, we have to make sure that we listen to it lots of times. That way we get to know the characters in their story and we get to know what happens in the story. And then sometimes you'll know the story so well that you'll be able to read the story with us whenever we read it together as a class because we'll definitely be bringing this story back into our class during reading um, and then we'll also get a chance to talk about um, this book um, on our own as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the story that we'll be reading today. This story is called The Three Belly Goats Gruff and it's by Paul Galdone. Now remember for us to make this story an old storybook, we want to make sure, or an old favorite storybook, we want to make sure that we read it over and over again and that we know the story by heart. So I want you guys to go ahead and do me a big favor and make sure that you watch this video lots of times so that that way you know this story by heart. And when we bring it up into our class, you'll be able to read it perfectly along with us, okay? So let's go ahead and get started and let's turn this story into one of our old favorite storybooks. The Three Belly Goats Gruff by Paul Galdo. Once upon a time, there were three belly goats. They lived in a valley and then their name of all three belly goats was Gruff. Do you guys see? There's the big belly goat the medium billy goat, and the little billy goat. Now let's see what happens to the billy goats. So there was a very, there, there was very little grass in the valley where they lived, and the billy goats were hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside so that they could go to the fine meadow full of grass and daisies where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. Oh, I definitely want to make sure I eat and eat and eat a lot so I can understand why the three billy goats gruff want to go to the meadow where there's lots of delicious grass and flowers that they can eat. But on the way there, there was a bridge over a rushing river. And under that bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. Do you guys see the troll? He's right over here. He looks very mean and very ugly, don't you think? Mm, I don't think I would want to cross this bridge. Oh, do you think that the billy goats are going to want to cross it? I think they might. I think they're going to be brave enough to do it. First... The youngest billy goat, Gruff, decided to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. Oh, he definitely sounds angry. What do you think is going to happen to the little billy goat? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Oh, it is only I, the tiniest billy goat gruff, said the billy goat in his very small voice. And I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm going to gobble you up. Ooh, he wants to eat the little billy goat. I hope he doesn't. What do you guys think? Is he going to eat him? Not going to eat him? Mmm, we'll find out. Oh, please don't take me. I'm too little, that I am, said the billy goat. Wait till the second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well then, off be with you, said the troll. So looks like he let the little billy goat pass because he wants to wait for the bigger billy goat. 
I wonder what's going to happen with the next bully goat. A little, sec uh, a little later, the second bully goat graph came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. Oh, doesn't he look angrier? Oh, he looks definitely much meaner and scarier and uglier, don't you think? <laughs> do you think he's going to let the second Billy Goat Gruff pass? Hmm, what do you guys think? We'll find out. Oh, it is only I, the second Billy Goat Gruff, and I'm going up to the meadow to make myself fat, said the Billy Goat, and his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. Wait a little till the third Billy Goat Gruff comes. He's much bigger. Very well. Be off with you, said the troll. So it looks like he's waiting. The troll is waiting for the big Billy Goat Gruff because he wants to eat a big goat. He wants to gobble him all up, huh? I wonder if he's going to get to the third Billy Goat Gruff. Do you think he's going to eat the third one? We'll find out. Oh my goodness, look at the how big the third Billy Goat Gruff is. Isn't he huge? So big. I don't think the troll can eat him. He's so big, but we'll see. Then up came the third Billy Goat Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. The third Billy Goat Gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Yep, look at how big the third Billy Goat Gruff is. He looks really heavy, don't you think? Let's see what the troll says. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Hmm, that's what he roared, the troll. Wow, he's really, really angry. He looks like he really wants to eat whoever's next. Oh, look at this. I don't think the third Billy Goat Gruff is scared. Do you think he's scared? He doesn't look scared, huh? It is I, the big Billy Goat Gruff, said the Billy Goat, and his voice was as loud as the trolls. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't really think he's scared at all. He's he's roaring in a big voice, just like how the troll did. Let's see what happens. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along, said the big billy goat gruff. I've got two horns and four hard hooves. See what you can do. Oop, so it looks like he's coming for the big belly goat. I wonder what's going to happen. Who do you think is going to win? The troll or the big belly goat? Hmm, we'll find out. Okay. So up climbed that mean, ugly troll. And the big belly goat gruff butted him with his horns. And he trampled him with his hard hooves. Do you guys see? He's headbutting him. Oh my goodness, that must hurt, don't you think? Look at those those really hard um, horns. They look really big. They look really sturdy, really, really hard. And then look, he's sending the troll flying up into the air. I think the third Billy Goat Gruff is going to win this one. Oh, and he tossed him over the bridge into the rushing river. I think we know who won this round. I think the third Billy Goat Gruff won because the troll ended up into the river. Then the Billy Goat Gruff went up the hillside to join his brothers. Look, they made it all the way to the hillside we see the troll is in the water. I don't think he can swim. 
And look, there's lots of nice grass and flowers for them to eat, 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 and get fat. Let's see if that's what they do. Now, in the meadow, the three billy goats Gruff got so fat that they could hardly walk home again. They are probably there yet. So snip, snap, snout, this tale's told out. All right. Did you guys like the story of the big, the Three Billy Goats Gruff? It is one of my favorites. I love reading it over and over and over again because it is so fun to read. Now, um, if you guys really like the story, I really encourage you to watch the video again so you can hear it more than once. And remember, once you hear it more and more and we read it more and more, then we can turn it into an old favorite that we know by heart. So I really hope that you guys watch our video of the Three Billy Goes Gruff a lot of times so that that way you guys get to learn the story by heart and then you can read it with us when we read it to you guys again and again in our class. All right. Well, that's it for, for today and for today's read aloud. Um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.